Today I'm going to calibrate the temperature on my Zosian 936D soldering iron. Now I knew this thing was off. I didn't realize how far it was off until I actually measured it. And it's off by about 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Today we're going to fix that problem. So today I want to try and calibrate my soldering iron that we know is off by a mile using my new must tool temperature probe. Now off camera I have verified that this is accurate because I took the thermocouple and verified that it measures water at 212 degrees boiling water. So I verified that the meter is accurate. So to do temperature settings on here, just plug in the probe and it'll measure the temperature, the current temperature uh, in the shop here. I've had it in my hand so it's going to cool down here to, should go down to about 15 because that's about what temperature it is in here now because I had this thing in my hand when I unpacked it and it should show 15 degrees here momentarily. There we go. We know it's 15 because of course that one says it's 15. What I'm going to do is on the front of here there's a calibration control so I'm just going to pop this little cover off here but there is a screw in here that I can adjust in behind here okay so with my I think it's a slot screwdriver I can use to adjust this. Yeah, so there's a screw in there. I'm going to set the temperature here to 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Let it warm up. We'll measure the temperature with the probe and then adjust this accordingly to get the te temperature to 700. See, when you set it first, you set the temperature you want it to be and then this is going to measure what it thinks it is. So it thinks it's at 700 degrees now, it's not. And when it turns on and off the iron, you'll see the light blinking here. I'm gonna let this thing just get good and warm here for a few minutes to make sure it's actually, the tip is actually at the temperature and then we'll measure it and then I'm gonna adjust it slowly to get the tip temperature to 700 degrees so that when this measures 700, the tip is actually at 700 degrees. So I've switched the temperature probe to degrees Fahrenheit and we'll just touch it up against the tip and see how high the tip temperature is. It looks to be about 200 degrees low, which is exactly what it was when this was cranked up all the way. So about 505 degrees here. Let's just turn this up a bit. Remember, ideally, I want to get this as close to 700 as I can. So we'll come up a bit. I don't know which way to turn this, so I'll turn it a little bit to the left here and see if I'm going up or going down. I think I'm going down now, so I'll go up the other way. Okay, the light is on now, so I know I'm heating the tip up.
you turn it clockwise to, to turn the, temp the tip temperature up. So as you can see I'm now up to about 600 degrees. Go up a little higher. Getting close. Okay, we're a little bit on the hot side now. Let's bring it down just a bit. Okay, I'm going to get a puddle of molten solder here and just dip the end of the probe in and see what temperature we're at. Bring it up just a bit more. I think I'm close enough. I would say that I am now calibrated and I'm close enough. If I turn this thing all the way up to 895, let's see how hot this thing gets by the time it gets up to that temperature. Give the tip a few minutes to warm up. And then we'll test it again here with the getting hot and hold on to this probe. Okay, I think we're pretty darn close. 897. I think it's fairly safe to say that my soldering iron is now calibrated so when I set this down at 700 degrees it'll be at 700 degrees and it will stay there. That's how you calibrate 
or the Zaxxon 936D. You just need a thermocouple probe in one of these fancy meters like this uh, little must tool MT826. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you again in the next one real soon.